Sony released some bad news this weekend for those of us who still have physical copies of some of our video games. More on that in a second, but first, I'm Marco, I live in Orlando, and you're watching Marco in Orlando. Hi everybody and thank you for hitting that button to watch this video. My name is Marco, I'm in Orlando, as I said. And now I do gameplay videos, I do video game news, and all things gaming. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well, it helps my uh, traction on YouTube, so that's, that's always helpful. And today we're going to talk a little bit about some brand new release that Sony put out this weekend. Related to the PlayStation 5. Now as we know... The PlayStation 5 is coming out at the uh, next month, in the middle of next month, middle of November. And there's been a lot of questions about compatibility, about just, you know, backwards compatibility, and whether the games that we own right now will be playable on the PlayStation 5. I, for one, cannot wait to get my hands on the PlayStation 5. And for a while, I wasn't sure whether I was going to get the all-digital version or the one that has a physical disk drive as well. But it looks like Sony has made that decision for me. They announced this weekend that the all-digital version would not be able to play any sort of your saved games, which makes sense, you know, because if you have a physical disc, you have to be able to put it in there, uh, in, the, in the drive. So that makes sense, and uh, so it was not a super surprise. But I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I still have about 30% of my games have physical discs along with them. Uh, I haven't gone all digital, though I do plan to eventually go all digital. Uh, so to me, it was uh, just a clincher saying that I'll have to pony up the extra money, right? There's a difference in prices between the Sony, the PlayStation all digital version and the PlayStation 1 with the physical disk drive. In the blog post titled Backward Compatibility PlayStation 4 Games Playable on PlayStation 5, the company announced that the majority of the PS4's 4,000 plus games, 99% of them in fact, will be playable on PS5. Some games will benefit from the PS5's advanced specs as well. There's a clause, however, that states that some unspecified functionalities may not be available on PS5 for certain games. The link to the whole post is in the description of this video, so you can go there to see much more. The PlayStation 5 is scheduled to release on November 12th. The digital-only version will run you $399. The physical version, which I think I'll have to do because of my physical games, will be $499. Now, when we do eventually get our hands on this console, you all know what we are getting for the most part. Haptic feedback on the controllers will be a next generation advancement. We have seen gameplay videos and I can't wait to play in these gorgeous environments, whether it's an NBA basketball court or the cliffs of whereverville. The backwards compatibility is a stroke of genius that seems obvious to anyone not involved in console's development. I literally have an automatic library of dozens of games, so why wouldn't I upgrade? Now, there are some games that don't have backwards compatibility. In fact, the list is so short, though, that I can rattle them off here. We're talking about DWVR, Afro Samurai 2 Revenge of Kuma Volume 1, TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge 2, Just Deal With It, Shadow Complex Remastered, Robinson the Journey, We Sing, Hitman Go Definitive Edition, Shadwen, and Joe's Diner. If you have any of those games, however, you will not be able to, to play them on the PS5. Sony also announced that you'll need to transfer your data from your PS4 to your PS5 and you'll likely have to do that using an extended storage device. I'll provide a link in the description of this video to, on where you can go get one of those, but it's pretty simple once you do it. You just download uh, the, uh, the data to the USB drive and then re-upload it once, into the PS5 uh, you know, slot once that comes out. So. So that's it for today and I thank you for joining me and I look forward to sharing more Sony PlayStation 5 news as it comes out. In the meantime, as I said, you see the links there to subscribe or watch some other videos on my channel and happy gaming. We will talk to you again very soon.